very latest. Christina? Good evening, Rick and Mary Beth. This is a horrible story, and the more details we hear, the more disturbing it becomes. This is still an active crime scene behind me. Let's show you what is happening as we speak. We just saw the coroner's van leave here, and this is what police are saying. One young girl is dead. A man has been transported to the hospital. That's all they're really confirming right now, but we did speak to witnesses and neighbors who are revealing a few more details into what happened. They're saying the girl is nine years old and that her father stabbed her to death. The two were found laying down next to each other uh, near a bin across from a church. And uh, the woman who actually found the body spoke to KTLA just a few minutes ago, obviously very disturbed by what she saw. And she was telling us that uh, the two were lying there almost touching. And she saw a lot of blood. Uh, the man, as she found the bodies, actually almost got up, regained consciousness, and started walking around. That's when that woman called the paramedics. Her name is Nancy. We're going to hear from her in about half an hour or so but she called the paramedics they arrived and now this is an active homicide investigation and uh, again that girl nine years old and you guys what's also disturbing about this not more than 100 feet away there's a whole carnival going on there's been kids going to the carnival we talked to some witnesses here who say uh, three young boys they're going to the carnival in route and the police uh, saw them talked to them and asked if they had seen any blood so this quiet community shattered by this news we're going to reveal more details in the next half hour so stay tuned for now reporting in long beach christina pascucci ktla 5 news All right, christina thank you for that let's get the very latest on what's happening there hello again christina Hey, Rick, Mary Beth, police literally just came out a few moments ago and are teaching us or telling us more about what happened in this awful situation. You can see it is an active crime scene and they're telling us they are confirming there were lacerations to a little girl's chest and then there were self-inflicted lacerations to an older man and he was taken to the hospital. He's listed in stable condition. We're learning this is in fact a parent-child relationship. They're believed to be Long Beach residents and the little girl's body was found this morning in the church parking lot by a neighbor here we spoke to Nancy she's saying she drove by she couldn't believe her eyes all the blood it was just something you see out of a movie she said and it's something that's gonna stay with her for a very long time now the man that she saw alongside the little girl they were both on the floor he actually got up gained consciousness and tried to move around we're talking to residents here who are all apart saw what happened joining us right now is Mike Jones he's a resident and tell us some um, what you saw you say you actually saw the man and the little girl walk around here last night yeah around last night around 10 30 we heard them get out of their car uh, we inquired about it and um, a few minutes later we had looked out the door and we saw the man and his uh, daughter walking down the street down the sidewalk and uh, then today you're learning what today, happened today around 11 o'clock we heard all the police and the activity uh, the guy had came up to my dad and talked to him for a few minutes and told him that the girl had been stabbed and had been killed and that the dad is now in the hospital so. Okay. And, and we're also hearing that dad has been arrested living here in this quiet community. It's quite a shock to all of you. Yeah, I mean, we have a wonderful community here. It's, it's always quiet. We have a fair going on right next door right now. Um, you know, things like this never happen over here, you know, never happen. So it's, it's definitely eye opening and especially it's right next to our house. You know, your yeah. home, you you'd right hate, in your own backyard. Yeah, right in your own backyard. So you would hate for something to happen like that, you know. All right, well, thank you very much, Michael. We appreciate your time. We are getting more and more details, but the investigation's ongoing, so police are trying to minimize the information they release right now. We will continue to bring you the very latest throughout the hour. Reporting from Long Beach, Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Mary Beth McDade. A man was found lying near the body of a young girl today in the parking lot of a Long Beach church. Yeah, that little girl had been stabbed to death, and that man, also injured, has now been arrested. Let's go live at Christina Pascucci in Long Beach. She's got the very latest on this investigation. Hello, Christina. Hey, Rick, Mary Beth. Police have just cleared the crime scene tape here in Long Beach. It was a gruesome discovery this morning. Two seemingly lifeless bodies covered in blood and police telling us the more details they get, the increasingly disturbing the story becomes. Loss of this precious life, your child, our child. Tonight, neighbors pray for a nine-year-old little girl who police say was brutally murdered in Long Beach. Her body discovered Saturday morning. She's scary. Mm. 
Nothing's the same anymore. Everything is changing. Police say the suspect is a Long Beach man who was supposed to be taking care of her. We believe this to be a parent-child relationship. Uh, what exactly um, that relationship is, we are still trying to determine, but uh, we believe uh, that he was definitely a guardian to her. Nancy and Miriam discovered the grisly scene in a church parking lot and immediately called police. Actually, in the beginning, I didn't realize what I was seeing. I drove through the parking lot to go to an appointment I had and realized something didn't seem right. Two bodies covered in blood. Police say the little girl was stabbed to death in her chest and died on scene. Authorities say her guardian also had self-inflicted wounds but is still alive. Amirian saw him get up and walk away from the scene. I see they're coming. The paramedics are coming. And I thought he was a victim. That man is now in police custody, but an image that neighbors say haunts them most. What police say appears to be some kind of note written in blood and left right where the girl's body was found. We do expect the identity of this little girl as well as her accused murderer to be released tomorrow by police. Also, at Los Altos United Methodist Church, they are holding a prayer vigil for this little girl between 2 and 4 tomorrow afternoon. We'll have all the information up on our website, ktla.com for you. Reporting from Long Beach, Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News.